Hi, my name is Nolan Poirier and I'm Product Manager at Akinio. And I'm Ali Hanyololu, Director of Product Marketing at Akinio also. Thanks for joining us today. Binge watching our favorite show all night long. Instant answers to our questions from online search. The perfect cup of coffee at home with just the press of a button. Why am I mentioning these? Well, let's admit it. We generally expect to have solutions that make our lives easier and more enjoyable as they are available and when we need them. Am I right? That's so true, Ali. And so, since early 2020, we have been thinking hard on how we can make the life of those who manage product information easier. We ask ourselves, our customers, our partners questions like, what can we do to automate more so that you're not wasting your time on repetitive and mundane tasks? How can we further ensure that governance is put into place? You don't want to deliver bad product experiences, right? With incomplete, inconsistent, or even incorrect product data. Also, how can we make connectivity to other platforms and tools more seamless? And to finish, how can we make everyone involved in the process of data enrichment more productive? So with that, we are excited to share with you how we have been answering those questions not just with the release of Akinio PIM 5.0, but also with all the updates we've already been providing in 2020 for our enterprise edition SaaS customers. You heard that right. These features have already been made available to those who are using our SaaS-based edition. Let's take a look. Over to you, Norwin. Thanks, Ali. Let's start by taking a look at what we did regarding automation in Akinio PIM in 2020. Now you can create rules directly from within the PIM user interface. So now it means that you are totally autonomous when it comes to automate your product enrichment. And you no longer have to worry about YAML files. And that's really cool. We also boosted our rules engine with new features to make it more powerful and flexible. So now you can duplicate your rules, you can activate and deactivate them, and you can also label them. We also added new actions and conditions. For example, now you can easily automate the creation of your product labels and descriptions. This last feature has been really well received by our SaaS customers. And then there's providing even greater governance over your data. Product modeling has now reached next level flexibility. You can now quantify your product associations and even have bi-directional ones. Dealing with variants has also been made easier. You can convert variant products into simple ones, and you can now change your variant access values whenever you need to. We have also reworked the yes-no attribute so that it can align better with whatever your modeling needs might be. You can also manage and create new measurement families. These will come in very handy if you need to incorporate a wide variety of metric attributes. That's helpful because the products you sell have sometimes have specific industry requirements. And governance wouldn't be complete if you couldn't properly measure your progress on these parts of your product catalog. And that's why our new features also include a new way to grade product compliance according to your own governance and consistency rules. We call this the quality score. We now rate all your products, whether they are variant or simple ones, and your product models. We have added a new quality criteria that checks if all of your products have images attached to them. A really important check, that last one. And then there is an improved dashboard to give you full visibility over the evolution of this score. And to top it all off, spell check has been enhanced with support for more languages. Now, that's already a lot that we have covered, but there's more, right, Norwen? Yes, indeed, Ali. And we have also a lot of great new capabilities around connectivity. It includes a brand new API called the Events API. Thanks to this new API, it will drastically help you integrate your PIM in your tech stack. And you can note that this API is totally complementary to our existing REST API. By the way, talking about the REST API, we also enhanced it. So now you have more endpoints, more filters, and also a better way to monitor what's happening on your connections. You can also track and fix your integration error directly from within the PIM user interface. 
Those features will be very helpful for those of you who are working in the IT or who are developing around the PM. And last but not least, when it comes to productivity improvements, we have introduced new features to the product grid view. You can now duplicate a product, manage your own private view, and more effectively search within your product models and their variants. The product grid is not the only place where we look for productivity enhancements. We also focus on imports and exports. You can now import and export your reference entities, as well as your assets. We also made it possible for you to export products with entity labels instead of codes. This enhancement is one that we know will save many of you a tremendous amount of time. The process tracker was also improved for the sake of your productivity. You can easily stop jobs and also see an estimate of the remaining time left. That's pretty neat. And as we have already released those features to our SaaS customers, they already have seen some great benefits. One of them is Babola, so it's the SaaS customer. It's also one of the world's leading brands in terms of sports equipment and apparel. And they shared this with us. Thanks a million for staying true to your word and bringing us the serenity of your ever-evolving platform. Month after month, Akinio enables us to take full advantage of the latest features. Among others, the private views, asset exports imports, and label data export has been greatly appreciated and developed at top speed. Thanks a lot, Babola team. We are humbled, and we couldn't have said it better ourselves. So what can we summarize from these great updates to Akinio PIM that Norwell and I just shared with you? We have been focusing on how you can realize more value from your investment in our platform. When it comes to making sure product information is consistent, complete, and correct, our software can do the analysis for you and give you actionable insights into how you can improve your catalog even further. And with more options to connect to other platforms and tools, Akinio PIM can now be an even more highly leveraged source of truth across multiple applications and platforms. Thanks to an all new automation capabilities, your precious time will be freed from slow, repetitive tasks. You can now focus on more meaningful activities that are productive and can help you deliver great product experiences. And that's just the beginning. We have lots more great capabilities coming in 2021. And if you are a SaaS customer, either an enterprise or a growth edition one, you can be sure that you will be able to enjoy those features as soon as they are released, just like your favorite shows online. Thanks again for joining us for this presentation. You now have a better view into what we have been working on with Akinio PIM. Make sure you check out the deep dive demos for these capabilities that we covered. And there are presentations and demos on the rest of the Akinio PXM Studio for you to check out too. Thank you, Nowhere, for presenting with me today. Thanks, Ali.